get in a lot of new faces back there in the secondary. How do you feel like that group's coming together? We're coming together really well. Um, every day we're learning. Obviously, we're super young. So every day we're just getting better and better. And I think as long as we keep doing that, we're going to be really good. We're playing tight coverage, um, a lot more match coverage. So it's good to see everybody compete. How much did that year help you in getting that kind of experience as much as you did? Uh, it was really good. Just kind of dealing with the ups and downs of the season. Not just on the field, but off the field as well. Just learning how to manage it all. Because it's really easy to let outside things seep into the season, and you don't want that to happen. You mentioned that tight coverage. That was something y'all emphasized in the spring, that press coverage. What's the comfort level with that now? Are you guys kind of getting that a little bit better? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, with reps, just more reps we get, the tighter it gets, and the better we get. So, you know, obviously, in the beginning, it was a little rough in the spring, but this last scrimmage was really, really good. We were doing really good. <laughs> What's it like having Bryson back there now? Oh, it's big just because he's another uh, veteran in the room. You know, he's been here for seven years. It's a long time. So he has just like a lot of pointers just for the young guys, not just football game, but life stuff, because obviously he's been through a lot here. He's went through multiple coaching changes and position changes. He started as a safety, went to linebacker, back at safety. So he's just really experienced and he has a lot of advice. Now, even though he's a seventh year senior, he's back in the secondary for the first time in a while. Are you treating him? Like a new year, does he get better in treatment right off the bat? No, nah, he gets better in treatment. The way the way he works and the way he studies film and just intentional with everything, you have no choice but to treat him like a veteran because he goes out there and he knows what he's doing every play. For you, how have you seen those young guys kind of pick up speed of the game? Oh, it's been, it's been good just seeing them get more comfortable being able to match um, play match coverages better. So, yeah, it's been good. Coach talked a lot about Corey after mm -hmm. that scrimmage. What are you seeing from him? Playmaker type, I guess, or? Yeah, that's exactly what Corey is. He's just really twitchy. He's like a really twitchy player. He gives us the ability to play different coverages because he was a free safety at first, so he's comfortable in the half. He's good at blitzing. He's just really fast, so he, he allows us to match up as well. What about the corners? What are you seeing from those guys? Young again. They're competing. like. What has been a lot recently has been a lot of um, go balls, and they've been competing really well with it. So they've just been competing with the receivers, making each other better. So say, is there any receiver on the other side that has given the secondary a little bit more of a handful than anybody else this fall? <sighs> They're all doing really well. Obviously, you got Keytron, Howe. They're big, deep threats. So they've been doing, they've been making their fair um, tough catches as well. But yeah, those those are me too. Um, so pretty new room, new guys in that secondary. What are you seeing from that group as a whole? Uh, I'm seeing the growth throughout uh, summer and fall camp as well. We're getting better each and every day. Uh, Coach Powell doing a great job to teaching us in our ways, like finding ways to teach each and every ind individual. So, yeah. What was it like having him back and I guess maybe the energy he brings and everything? Uh, oh, I just feel like Coach Powell can relate to us because he's not like as an old school coach. So like he bring a lot of juice. He, we feed off him. So his energy help us get through a lot. So I mean, thanks for flow. Fonzo, what's your focus been in, in terms of taking that next step from guy who gets playing time to guy who really is one of the keys of the defense? Uh, Honestly, I'm just taking it one day at a time. If I'm a role player, I'm going to be the best role player I could be. If I'm a starter, I'm going to just try my best to be the best starter I can be. So just one day at a time, honestly. What has bringing Bryson back to the secondary done for you guys as a group? What does he bring? Uh, bringing Bryson back, it brings growth, honestly, because we're a young group. So with Bryson being here, with his knowledge and his wisdom, he's pouring it into us. So we're just taking advantage of it each and every day. Seven year veteran. <laughs> he's not a old, he's not a young dude no more. Does he does he lead that room or is there multiple leaders in that secondary group? I feel like it's neutral, but when it comes to certain things, B Jack is the leader of the group. Yeah. What about the cornerbacks, Alfonso? What do you see from those guys and how do you see them growing? Cornerbacks group, I see uh individuals growing each and every day. I see Tevin Williams taking steps each and every day. Chateau, Carl Williams, Caden Jenkins, 
even the new guys that just enrolled this year as well. So we're all just taking it one day at a time, getting our, our communication better, growing with each other, and just building with each other each and every day. Alfonso, in a world where I even think a lot of people look at a young group and be like, well, they have any experience. What's the flip side, the excitement, the extra thing that, that a young group can bring? You never know. We don't have no, you, it's nothing that you can really like know what we're going to do. It's just, we're just going to come and shock you. Do you feel like you've kind of shown that in camp? Like, because I've seen you guys, you are a lot of contested catches, that kind of thing. And you guys are really tight in coverage. You, or maybe not surprising, but are you, are you seeing it in camp, you guys taking steps, I guess? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Uh, um, at first, it starts off with the young guys, Caden Jenkins, Carl Williams, coming in, making big plays. And you have Chateau, Tevin feeding off of there, also making big plays. And then the secondary, we just handling business. So we all just playing together right now, one heartbeat. Okay, cool. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. Thanks,